In John chapter 14, <clears throat> I want to take it there in verse 8. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, look at that, the words that I speak unto you. Why? Who was Jesus? He was the king of kings, isn't that right? So here, a king, he said, the words that I speak to you. So where the word of a king is, there is power to bring itself to pass. So Jesus is saying here, the words that I speak unto you, I don't speak, I speak not of myself, but the father that dwells in me, he does the works. Now notice, you would think, oops, somebody, missed, somebody wrote the wrong word there. Why? Because uh, it should, now see, in English, a scribe could make a mistake. And instead of writing words, write works. And that's why we think, oh, they must have made a mistake. It should have been words. Because he said, the words that I speak, I don't speak of myself, but the Father in me, he does the, we would think word, but he said work. But in the Greek, so there can't be a mistake. Because in the Greek, there's only a few words for the word word, rhema, logos, things like that. But the word works is the word ergon. So it's totally different words. So there is not a mistake. First and foremost. I mean, I mean you get that? He said, the words that I speak, the Father dwells in me, he does the work. I speak, I'm a king, he brings it to pass. That's all he's saying, right? That's what you do. You speak, you're a king, you speak, and God brings it to pass. Why? Because you're, in a, you're, you're connected to him. Now, the bad thing is this. He said, whatever you believe in your heart and speak with your mouth, you'll have. Now, once he said that, it's done. It can't change. Now, the problem is, in your spirit. See, your spirit is so strong that when you speak words, he noticed he did not say, well, when you speak the words that are right, I'll back those up. But the words that are wrong, I'm not going to back those. I'm not going to, you know, we're just going to let those drop. He never said that. He said, whatever you believe in your heart and speak with your mouth, you will have. So two things there. Number one, guard your heart. Make sure what's in it's good because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Number two, guard your mouth. And don't let stupid stuff come out that you don't want. Amen? Amen. That's what I say. I got a heart. I understand. I know there are certain laws that have to do with the insurance. Okay? I have a, I'll be honest with you. I have a hard time with insurance. Meaning, I don't like. <laughs> mostly, I will tell you, in every area I can, I refuse to bet against myself. <laughs> it's just that simple. And that's what insurance is to me. And, you know, don't follow my example if that's not what you want to do. But for a while, I was a criminal. <laughs> when they said everybody had to have their insurance, I didn't. Now, car insurance, I got car insurance. Why? Because that protects you against me and me against you, and I get that, and that's okay. I mean, I, you know, but <laughs> I have dug myself into a hole. <laughs> <laughs> so, the next thing I was going to go to seat belts and then I was going to go to all this other stuff. <laughs> so, so, anyway, okay. I just don't like betting against myself whenever I trust God. Amen. 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 So I got the best insurance I can have. Psalm 91. Right, and, and, and the other verses that back that up. So anyway, 